Today we're talking about 10 top unisex fragrances. Three, two, one, let's do this. My name is Monica Chalk and on this channel we talk about fragrances. So if you're interested in fragrances, do press that subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified of my latest videos and let's get on with today's video. Well, unisex fragrances, we must be talking about a bit niche fragrances that make unisex fragrances because usually designer, they just don't do that. They either make a men's fragrance or a woman's fragrance. It's clearly labeled, it's blue for a guy, it's pink for a woman and that's it. So here are my top 10 niche fragrances that are unisex and are the best of the best and I love them dearly. Number 10 is Diptyque's Eau de Well Eau de Toilette and that fragrance I love because it has got this tea kind of smell to me personally. It kind of smells like tea, a spicy warm um, tea that is a bit of a balsamic vanilla so it's a vanilla scent that is very classy and so sophisticated so timeless i just love it and i do like the other toilet uh, version because it's a bit fresher it's got this like really really lovely freshness at the top this tea like um smell that makes it a bit more all year appropriate also a bit more versatile for either a guy or a woman it's a delicious balsamic vanilla spicy mm, it's so so yummy and elegant i love it so number 10 is diptyque's eau de well eau de toilette number nine is lune feline from atelier des or and this is another vanilla can you guess? Like I love vanilla so much and this is a dark vanilla. This is a vanilla that is bad. <laughs> like it's a good girl gone bad. It's a vanilla that is very balsamic, very dirty and dark but at the same time sweet. It's such a beautiful juxtaposition of a scent. I've got a sample of it because I've got this weird thing that if I really love a fragrance, I don't like to uh, buy it for myself. So I've got a list of like loads and loads of fragrances that I love so much that I don't want to buy myself. I know I'm weird, but maybe somebody out there is like me. So this is a yummy, very unisex vanilla. If you love gourmands with a twist, this is this is beautiful, totally worth the hype. So number nine, Lune Feline from Atelier des Or. Number eight is an oud fragrance and I don't usually talk about oud fragrances that much but if you are to get one oud in your life this is the one to get. It's Parisian oud from a Fragrance de Bois and this is the brand that is so expensive but so worth it. This fragrance it, when I smelt it, I was like, wow, this is just drop dead gorgeous. This is a jammy rose oud combination, but done so beautifully, so well blended, so well crafted. This is just smells so utterly expensive if you love oud. This is like the highest level of oud. It's stunning. This is truly unisex scent, very oudy, very strong, powerful scent that, but it's beautiful you have to check it out. So Parisian Oud from Fragrance de Bois. Number seven is a fragrance that is kind of easygoing. So this is a unisex fragrance that many people wear and many people know from the niche market and this is Baccarat Rouge from uh, Maison Francisca Jean. And this fragrance I picked because maybe it's not the most unique one but it is a fragrance that gets people into niche perfumery and I think this is so valuable. This is an easygoing compliment getter that is so beautiful. This is a light fragrance that is also dense and it's very sweet to me personally. It's got this weird hospital sort of note uh, but it's just so iconic at this point because so many people try to copy it so many it's like a bestseller for the house and it is very very good 
and you'll smell amazing wearing this. This is a gourmandish sort of scent to me. This smells like um, a raspberry spit maybe and sugar, but it's very, very hard to des describe this fragrance. Um, just get yourself a sample and smell because it's very, very good and truly unisex. Maison Francisca. Maison, it's a hard one. MFK Baccarat Rouge 540. Number six is the one and only Coromandel from Chanel Exclusive Line. And this fragrance, it just works so well on me particularly and on so, so many other people. It smells a bit different on everybody, I feel like. On me, this fragrance smells like a yummy white chocolate sort of fragrance with very dirty kind of like basement patchouli that is so strong on my skin but i absolutely love it this fragrance is a classic if you have never smelt it this will change your life this will just show you what fragrance can be and it's so good and i think men and men and women can wear it both it's extremely good it's a classy gourmandish sort of scent that has got character and has got like the foot down like it's a it's a character fragrance it's amazing and i wouldn't change any note like ever in this fragrance i really really love it so that is coromandel by chanel number five was a hard one because i was like what do i what do i pick and finally i decided to go with Masque Vageur from Frédéric Mal. And I was going between like Portrait of a Lady and Masque Vageur, but I think Masque Vageur is just, has been with me a bit longer. I have worn it on my birthdays. I just love it. This is a scent that smells like Christmas to me. It's so spicy, like cinnamony, clovey goodness. It smells a bit of like boozy vanilla caramel but it's got this animalic also note that some people it puts them completely off but for me i just love it it's such a character scent again it's just if you wear it you love it if somebody just doesn't like the furry animalistic note they don't wear it but overall i think it's, it's such an interesting twist on a sweet vanilla fragrance I love it. It's very sexy on a guy, especially on me. I just find it so cozy and yeah, just very, 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 oh my gosh, extremely good. Okay, Frédéric Mal, Mascara Vigeur. Number four is another exclusive designer line. It's from Lancome this time and it's not what you think. It's not Oud Bouquet, although I like Oud Bouquet, but I'm not a huge, huge Oud fan. So. It's good, but I don't know if I would purchase it. Maybe I will in the future. But my favorite from the line, there's actually two, but I put one in here, is Jasmin Marcipan. I don't know if I pronounce it right, but it's basically um, a jasmine fragrance, a soft jasmine, beautiful, oh, such a beautiful fragrance with vanilla. It's slightly boozy, uh, but still fresh, very delicate. Uh, and very unisex when you think of it when you think of the name you might think oh I don't know if it's a bit too girly but no this is so classy so timeless so well done this is one of those fragrances that you can wear every single day it's not too cloying it's not too fresh it sits in the middle it's a perfect balance and the jasmine in this just makes it so slightly slightly sexy but still very wearable and so beautiful so i love this one this is lancome jasmine marzipan number three we're getting very close and this is another exclusive line from a designer i just think they do those exclusive lines so well so i like sleek suede from a YSL exclusive line and this fragrance is so yummy if you like gourmand scents that are just very very interesting and a bit niche you'll love this this is cacao nutty cacao scent with oud at the base so like the opening of this is so yummy i just wanted to eat my hand when i sprayed it on my hand the first time i was amazed the whole day the only problem with this one is it doesn't last extremely long but 
I would totally buy it but I'm this crazy person that doesn't buy fragrances that I really really love because I want somebody else to get them for me and to have like that special memory but regardless I love this fragrance it's so yummy delicious edible but because of the oud at the base it gives it that oomph and it is a bit masculine leaning I would say but still women can pull it off and it's very very interesting i would say very interesting it's a yummy interesting scent i love it number two is atomic rose from initio and i love so many fragrances from initio but this one has been become my uh, most recent recent infatuation uh, with this house atomic rose I've, I thought I would never say this. I don't usually like a rose that much, but this rose, I love it. It's so ambery and warm. It's a gourmandous sort of sweet scent. It's like a rose scented, rose um, something pudding or like those, um, those donuts that you have with rose filling inside that sort of like sweet, syrupy, vanillic, ambery rose that is just, you get so many compliments when wearing it. People notice you, it's very unisex. It's wonderful for compliments. If you want compliments on a niche budget, if you want to go niche and you want compliments still, that house is quite amazing. It's such a beautiful rose, I love it. And number one, now you'll be surprised, but it's also a rose fragrance. I mean, I don't know how this happened. I'm changing, something is happening to me. This is another designer exclusive line from the um, pick from the line of Maison Dior. And Dior has got many, many fragrances and you know, they're famous maybe from Feu Delicieuse or other ones, but my favorite from them and my favorite unisex scent at the moment is Ambre Nuit by Dior. And this fragrance, it just makes me so happy. I almost want to cry when I actually apply it. It's just so fresh, warm, um, aromatic. It's a beautiful rose that you can wear every single day. This fragrance is very high quality. You can smell it. I love how unisex it is, although it leans, especially in the opening, a bit more masculine. I think that in the mid, it's much more unisex and much more wearable for a woman. It's such a stunning, delicate, sophisticated scent. And it's not your basic rose, like no way, it's not. It's slightly sweet, very slightly sweet, but fresh rose with like some spices in it. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite rose fragrances and I really want to buy it, but I don't want to buy it at the same time. I just buy so many fragrances. So those special ones, I'm like, oh, I don't want to wear, I don't want to buy them myself. Okay, this is weird. What are your favorite unisex scents? Let me know down in the comments. Um, yeah, down in the comments. I post every Monday and Thursday, occasionally a bit more. So do press that notification button to get notified. And if you love something, if you love a fragrance, you can wear it and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye guys. Bye.